MindSync offers you, in the month of April and May, an corporation of private limited company at 5,999. Contact MindSync today. Hello and welcome to MindSync. I am Swati from MindSync. MindSync is a professional organization that offer services like compliance, consulting, legal and advisory. After BIS certification, our next topic of discussion will be medical devices license procedure in India. First, let us know about the regulatory framework for medical devices. Medical devices are regulated by the Central Drug Standard Control Organization, CDSCO. Under Directorate General of Health Services, an agency of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, CDSCO is the National Regulatory Authority of India. Next, is the governing law in India, applicable to all medical devices. The Drugs and Cosmetic Act, 1940, as well as the Drugs and Cosmetic Rules, 1945, governs the quality and safety of notified medical devices in India. The Indian government decided to simplify the medical device registration procedure by enacting the Medical Devices Rules, 2017, which have been monitored by the CDSCO. On April 1, 2020, the Medical Devices Rules has been revised as Medical Devices Amendment Rules 2020 and will apply to all newly notified medical devices. Moving forward, let us now know the definition of medical devices. According to a notification issued on February 2020, medical devices that meets the following definition will be regulated as drugs under the Drugs and Cosmetic Act and Medical Devices Rules. All devices including an instrument, apparatus, appliance, implant, material or other article, whether used alone or in combination, including a software or an accessory, intended by its manufacturer to be used specially, for human beings or animals, which does not achieve the primary intended action, in or on human body or animals, by any pharmacological, or immunological, or metabolic means, but which may assist in its intended function, by such means for one or more of the specific purposes like diagnosis, prevention, monitoring, treatment or alleviation of any disease or disorder. Diagnosis, monitoring, treatment, alleviation or assistance for any injury or disability. Investigation, replacement or modification or support of the anatomy or of a physiological process. Supporting or sustaining life. Disinfection of medical devices. And control of conception. Let us know about in vitro diagnostics medical devices. IVD are substances intended to be used outside human or animal bodies for the diagnosis of any disease or disorder, covered under Section 3, B, 1, and 4, of the Drugs and Cosmetics Act, 1940. IVD tests are carried out on samples collected, from the human body, such as blood, or tissue. IVD can be used to diagnose illnesses, and other problems, as well as to track a person's general health, in order to cure, treat, or prevent disease. As we have now better understanding of medical devices, let me provide you with the major classification of the same. Medical devices other than in vitro diagnostic medical devices, should be categorized into, one of the following categories, from lowest to highest risk, based on the parameters established, in part 1 of the first schedule, of medical devices rules. First is class A which denotes a low risk. For example, basic manual toothbrushes, clinical color change thermometers, steam inhalers, face shields, and other devices. Class B is low to moderate risk. Like, a digital thermometer, a blood pressure monitoring device, a bed or chair electric massager, and a latex or non-latex surgical glove. Class C has a moderate to high risk. For example, pulse oximeters, nebulizers, infant radiant warmers, high-frequency ventilators. While class D includes a high risk. 
such as heart valves and intrauterine devices and so on. We will then go on to the in vitro diagnostic medical devices classification. IVD are categorized separately from other medical devices. The Central Licensing Authority shall classify IVD devices on the basis of intended use and parameters specified in Part 2 of the first schedule of medical devices rules in the following classes. First is Class A, denotes low risk. For example, blood collection tube, cell washer. Class B is low moderate risk. For example, insulin test kits, cholesterol test kit, and so on. Class C denotes moderate high risk, such as glucometer, genetic test kit. And Class D is high risk. For example, malaria test kits, HIV test kits and so on. Next is the Administrative Authority. The Medical Devices Rules, 2017, recently notified that the Central Licensing Authority, as the competent authority for providing manufacturing license of Class C and Class D medical devices, and also license for import of all classes of medical devices. The other services include clinical investigation and approval of investigational medical devices. Clinical Performance Evaluation Approval of New In Vitro Diagnostic Medical Devices And Coordination with the State Licensing Authorities While, the State Licensing Authorities shall be the competent authority for providing manufacturing license of Class A or Class B medical devices And other services such as Sale, Stock, Exhibit or Offer for Sale or Distribution of Medical Devices of All Classes under the Drugs and Cosmetics Act and the Medical Devices Rules, the Indian government notified 37 categories of medical devices. An exemption is provided from registration requirements for these 37 categories of previously notified medical devices. Manufacturing or importing of these 37 types now mandatorily need a license. Below you can find the list of all 37 categories of notified medical devices, with their class in which they fall together, with their effective dates, some of the examples are Disposable hypodermic needles, cardiac stents, x-ray machine, ultrasound equipment and so on. Medical devices that were not notified until February 2020, those that did not fall into one of the 37 categories listed above, will now be covered under the new definition of medical devices, and will be referred to as, non-notified medical devices. Manufacturers, and importers of non-notified medical devices, will be required to register with the CDSCO. In order to facilitate the process to classify all such medical devices. The Central Licensing Authority classifies such devices into 24 categories. As per risk-based approach, some of the examples are Anesthesiology, Dental, Neurology, Dermatology, Plastic Surgery, Radiotherapy and so on. Let us now know about the voluntary registration rules issued under Notification Number 102 on February 2020. The enforcement of voluntary registration requirements is available to all classes of medical devices. From April 1, 2020, till 30 September, 2021. The government has given time to the medical device industry to get voluntarily registered by October 1, 2021. After that, manufacturers and importers of Class A and B will have to mandatorily register their medical devices up to the 30th of September 2022. From 1st October 2022, Class A and B devices will fall under licensing regime. Voluntary registration of Class C and D is 1st October 2020 to the 30th of September 2021 and shall be followed by mandatory registration until the 30th of September 2023. From 1st October 2023, Class C and D devices will fall under licensing regime.
the manufacturer or importer cannot sell their non-notified medical devices in India until registration is obtained. However, 37 notified medical devices are exempt from the new rules on registration requirement. Moving forward, I am going to tell you the complete process of obtaining manufacturing license for class A and B medical devices. Process for class A medical devices. First step is filing of application. Application is to be made to state licensing authority. Inform number MD3. Next is document submission. Documents is to be submitted along with the application by the manufacturer of medical devices. The next step is audit of manufacturing site. No audit is required prior to grant of license for class A medical devices. Technical review and audit will only be conducted within 120 days of grant of license. And finally grant of license. A license is granted to manufacture of class A medical devices in form number MD5. Continuing with the process for class B medical devices. First step is filing of application. Application is to be made to the state licensing authority in form number MD3. Next is document submission. Documents is to be submitted along with the application by the manufacturer of medical devices. The next step is audit of manufacturing site. As in the case of class A, no audit is required prior to grant of license, but for class B, the manufacturing site will be audited within 90 days from date of application to ensure compliance with the quality management system standards. And finally grant of license. License is granted to manufacture of class B medical devices in form number MD5. MindSync is going to help you with the complete process right from documentation to approval. The manufacturer shall submit the following documents with CDSCO such as legal form of the firm, device master file, plant master file, certificate supporting quality management system, with respect to ISO 13485. Signed undertaking, stating compliance of QMS requirements for manufacturing sites. Test license obtained for testing and generation of quality control data. And performance evaluation report of in vitro diagnostics devices only. Now, we are going to know about the process of obtaining the manufacturing license for class C and D medical devices. First step is filing of application. Application is to be made to the central licensing authority in form number MD7. Next is document submission. Documents is to be submitted along with the application by the manufacturer of medical devices for further processing and issuing of license. The next step is audit of manufacturing site. The manufacturing site shall be inspected within a period of 60 days from the date of application. And finally grant of license. A license is granted to manufacturer of class C and D medical devices in form number MD9. The following documents are required to be submitted with CDSCO such as Legal form of the firm. Device master file. Plant master file. Certificate supporting. Quality management system with respect to. ISO 13485. Signed undertaking stating. Compliance of QMS requirements for manufacturing sites. Test license obtained for. Testing and generation of quality control data. We are now. Going to talk about. Import license. For all classes of medical devices. All medical devices importing into India must comply with the medical devices regulation established by CDSCO for the purpose of import of medical devices in India. The following steps are followed. First is filing of application. An authorized Indian agent is to be appointed as the representative for the foreign manufacturer. The authorized agent 
who holds license to manufacture for sale or distribution a wholesale license for sale or distribution or registration certificate of import of cosmetics in india under form 42 are eligible to make an application to the central licensing authority in form number md14 next is documents submission a comprehensive list of documents needs to be submitted for further processing of application mindsync will assist you in the preparation of regulatory documents as well as fulfilling all the provisions of comprehensible requirements next is inspection of overseas manufacturing site after receiving the application the central licensing authority may conduct an inspection of the foreign manufacturing site either by itself or by any other person or body to whom the authority has been delegated the applicant will be asked to pay a fee for expenses incurred in connection with the visit to the foreign manufacturing site and finally grant of license after examination of documents furnished with the application and on the basis of the inspection report the central licensing authority may grant license in form md15 a checklist of documents required for grant of import license is mentioned here some of which are legal form of the firm overseas manufacturing site or establishment or plant registration device master file plant master file valid wholesale license or manufacturing license or registration certificate under form 42 free sale certificate from country of origin and certificate supporting quality management system under iso 13485 if you required any support on medical devices license and registration contact mind sync we will be happy to help you stay tuned for our next insight in the medical devices series thank you